In today's video, Dr. Sakib is going to talk about the three mistakes young dentists and interns make when they start with root canals. If you are interested, stay tuned. I'm Dr. Sadish Kumar. This is Guys in Dental. Our aim here is to help dentists succeed. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Sakib Mala. I'm the center in charge and the chief endodontist at Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Super Specialty Dental Clinic and Research Center of Mumbai. Today I'll be speaking on three points that I feel fresh dentists or fresh practitioners usually make during their practice. So here are my three points. The first point is being wrongly influenced by what you see on social media. We've seen that since COVID times, social media as, as a tool has grown exponentially and it has helped boost many practices and businesses alike. The success of social media cannot be underrated or understated. Everything from the way we eat to the way we dress needs to be Instagrammy these days. And dentistry is not far behind in this trend, so to speak. We see so many young dentists and even senior practitioners trying to emulate and trying to follow what they see on social media. The problem herein lies in the fact that not every content that you consume through social media is evidence-based and at times it's also a marketing gimmick through a company, so it could be a company sponsored event. So my advice to the fellow dentists would be, do not blindly follow and believe everything you see on social media. Educate yourself on the matter first, that's the most important thing. So read good articles from good journals, practice the technique that you want to try and follow. So anytime before you're trying to follow any of these social media trends, educate yourself, practice and then go ahead. And always remember that social media cannot be a replacement for practical knowledge. The second common mistake which practitioners usually make, in my opinion, is trying to learn advanced endodontics without learning the basics thoroughly. As they say, endodontics is the bread and butter of dentistry. The past five to six years have seen the markets being inundated with a variety of products. Technology is at its best right now. Technology has certainly revolutionized the way we see, we feel and we do dentistry. So we have all sorts of digital products and materials which have taken dentistry at a pedestal and we are currently in the pinnacle of dentistry. However, this revolution also comes with a certain iPhone-like temptation. So practitioners tried and retrieved separated instruments with even fancier instruments and they would always want to try and obturate with fancier devices. Now, in my opinion, problem with this lies that when you try and attempt these advanced procedures without being acquainted and practicing the basic procedures thoroughly. So my advice would be that be thorough with your basics rather than just trying to do something because it's advanced, because it's latest. I cannot emphasize enough on the importance of basics over here. Always remember that clinical proficiency is a gradual process and eventually you need to build it up yourself. The third Before you listen to the third point in this video, if you're liking this video, please do not forget to hit the like button below. And I'm sure you're subscribed to our channel because if you want to take your career to the next level after BDS, this is the channel you need to subscribe. The mistake which the practitioners usually make and which in my opinion is the most important one to avoid making is expecting high success in a very short period of time. It's very often that we see that young practitioners often getting uh, disheartened and discouraged by the fact that they want to establish themselves very well, very soon in a short period of time. Now, establish can have different meanings to different people, but the most common aspects or the most common expectations are to have a good clinical practice, to have your own clinic, having treated thousands of patients and earning big bucks in a short period of time. Uh, this, this all just makes young dentists just worry and stress a lot unnecessarily. Uh, I believe the onus of explaining this is upon us as fellow dental colleagues, fellow practitioners, senior practitioners to emphasize it and explain it to the younger generation, the young dentists that Rome was not built in a day and success just cannot happen like that. It, it does take time and eventually everything works out for its best. I would advise anybody who is starting their practice or is getting into the practice to have nothing but patience determination and perseverance and success will definitely follow. So do not worry. All the best. Whether you are a dentist who is freshly graduated, a dentist who's missed internship because of COVID or a dentist who's been out of practice, out of touch with dentistry 
or just a dentist who's slightly underconfident and just wants to boost their practice by building up their confidence, you can enroll into a five weeks comprehensive clinical residency program here at Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Super Specialty Dental Clinic and Research Center at IDHO Prabhadevi, Mumbai. The details for the comprehensive clinical residency program are shared in the link below. Thank you.